this vlog's about to be a hot mess. I do not have my car phone holder anymore, the one that you attach to the windshield. I thought it was in this little compartment thing that's between the seats, but um, it's not. And so I randomly find one that's in my house, but I don't know where this came from. It's not, it's not mine. So, but I used it anyways. My house, well, it's not my house, but found it but it was the one with the magnetic back holder so i put my phone on it i'm like cool magnetic nope my phone slips off of it so now i have to order one off of amazon which i will do later on but right now i'm literally just holding this so if you're if you're not loving the visuals right now um that's fine you can just listen and that's the first order of business i wanted to take care of the second is hi guys so i know that i totally just sorry i told you a hot mess i know i totally i just, just disappeared you were like where did you go you started making vlogs again and you were doing lean for halloween i was looking forward to that but you just poofed and i am um, truly sorry about that i know how hard it is to lose any form of support on a weight loss journey no matter how small it is i know how much that sucks so i do apologize for that i have two main reasons one is that i, I just i was angry i was beyond like this was the most angry and i knew that if i had started vlogging it wouldn't have been like pause like it wouldn't have been stuff that i should have been saying but again i know that's not an excuse but i was just fr just frustrated and that was maybe 40 or 50 that was maybe 50 percent of the reason the other half was that it's been hot hot this is the hottest no this isn't the hottest summer but it's the hottest feeling summer in california in my life and so it was really hard to vlog in my car this is the only place that i feel comfortable like just talking and it was really hard vlogging from my car because my phone every time i tried to i promise i did try to and my phone would just start overheating like in two minutes so it's been hard but now it's cooling down i don't know if you guys can see outside but yeah it's it's cooling down a lot so yeah anyways weight watchers how's it going with you guys that's what i'm interested in how's it going with me i okay i know when did i stop vlogging august maybe well maybe july it sounds like july because that's when it was hot so let's say july um i wanted to lose 15 pounds by halloween I've lost maybe like two, which isn't a bad thing. And I'm not just saying that. Like, it's not a bad thing. No, I'm just, I really mean it. It's not a bad thing because I keep saying at least it's not going the other way. At least it's not going the other way. If I'm maintaining or losing 0 0.2, 0 0.4, point whatever, zero, at least it's not plus, plus, plus. Today I had the, and I had an epiphany or I had a realization why this was happening because i've been eating within my points i've been exercising the only thing is i don't go to meetings anymore why because weight watchers had the brilliant idea to shut down all their meetings i think there's only a hundred or so left nationwide and you guys know me i'm a meetings girl i love my meetings i love my leader but i just don't go anymore so they stopped the meetings and I stopped going there and the only meeting there there luck, luckily there is a meeting near my house. It's not as near as it was in the hotel. Now it's in another city that's like 20 minutes away. And as as nice as that leader is, she's not my vibe. She's very by the book. Like I love her, no shade to her. Her style works for so many people and it's so great that we still have her she's not my vibe she's not my style i like her partner her partner scott who i've been going to who i always talk to he's like unhinged and not by she's very by the book and a lot of people like that nothing wrong with that lots of people love by the book i'm not a by the book kind of girl i'm a give me you know she's get just speak just speak from your soul i don't like things rehearsed i don't like things x y and z I like things all over the place and that's how he is and he's funny he's like stand-up comedian and that's what I need 
and his meetings are not on the weekends. Not only the leader, but the the meeting group has to have a certain vibe too. His Tuesday night meetings have that, but in order to go to those, I have to race from my place of employment. That's another city that's like half an hour away down to the other city that's like 20 minutes away and it takes me 45 minutes to get from work to it's just too much it's too much so i'm gonna try going to meetings again i have to maybe not during the holidays because that drive's gonna be oh but yeah so anyways that's the, 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 what was i even saying before that oh yeah i've been doing everything consistently not seeing any loss and i realized because it's hot i know it's hot my body seems to, things expand heat makes things expand my body is expanding i'm probably retaining water my coworker had was like oh drink more water and i'm like duh i haven't been drinking much water so i've been drinking more water and lo and behold the bloat went away so i've been drinking more water and now that it's not hot, like this week, I lost 1.6. Today, I lost 1.6. Yay! I mean, I probably gained it all that back because I ate. The thing is, why did I eat so much today? I don't even know how much. I ate a crap ton of food. Why? I don't know. Oh, because I've been exercising a lot. And because today was just one of those days where I'm like, my head hurts. I just took a Tylenol. I just took a Tylenol right now. And my head hurts, I feel weak, I feel exhausted, and I'm just like, I need more energy. So, I, I, I ate. I ate. Do I regret it? No, I will never regret. I'm at this point now where I will never regret eating food to fuel my body. Even if that means that I ate 500 points, okay, but my body needed 500 points. That's what it's saying to me. So... You have to listen to your body so that's where i am now i'm at 170.1 probably whatever but hey it's better than being at 170 what was i before 173 170 whatever yeah i'm going in the right direction so i have about 20 pounds to lose am i going to do the 15 pounds by halloween <laughs> no are we still on for lean for halloween if you guys will have me back if you guys would like lean for halloween let's start it now let's go let's go it is the 17th of september let's let's lose five pounds by halloween i know a lot of you are probably on the struggle bus like me if you're not wonderful but if you are and you're just getting your gearings back five pounds by halloween Sh shall we do that let's do five pounds for halloween and you might be sitting there saying what's five pounds gonna do we cannot have this attitude my friends we cannot have an attitude of what's that gonna do uh, to be quite honest in right now in this moment probably nothing to be honest but in the long run a lot five pounds is five pounds have you held take a five pound dumbbell hold that that gets that sucker gets pretty heavy put it down have you held like a baby that's six pounds that sucker's heavy too put that down that's how much you're gonna be losing so i mean maybe may, to be honest maybe we won't look any different but how good would it feel to have five extra pounds off of you like your organs are gonna feel that your heart's gonna feel that you're just gonna have more energy and do i really need to preach the benefits of losing five pounds i don't think so so let's do five pounds by halloween you guys let's set ourselves up for success maybe we'll no yeah let's do five pounds by halloween you you are more than welcome to do more if you're like five pounds that suckers change i can do eight pounds you're more welcome to do eight pounds if you can i'm aiming for five let me know how much you guys are aiming for but the thing is, what do we need to do to get to five pounds down? For, let's make a plan right now. I need to stick with it with tracking. I need to, um, I think just stick with everything. Just drink my water. And I know there's going to be Halloween candy around in the office and not indulge in those. So instead of reaching for the candy, maybe I can have, okay, so I bought that sugar-free Jello. I'm going to have the jello puddings. That's like two points. I'll reach for that before I do any candy. 
And those little teeny tiny dum-dums, they're like one point. One of our departments has those. I can reach for that. Three points. Mint. Have mints. You know. That's my game plan. Let me know yours. Let me know if you're in. I'm, I'm back. I don't know. I need to get a little car holder. So I hope I'm back. But um, if the weather stays nice and cool like this, yes. So anyways, thanks guys for listening to this hot mess. If you're watching this hot mess, more kudos to you. But um, I'll see you guys next week. And let's start now. Let's start. Let's start now. I'll see you guys next week. And let's talk about the damage we did. Bye. Whether positive or negative, we'll be here together. Bye.